It almost seems like every 24 months, there's a different small city that's been overlooked forever that's just been growing, 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 usually driven by, you know, economic fortune. I mean, the innovation in food across the country right now has been so profound and so interesting. Like, even 20 years ago, you used to go to Chicago, LA, San Francisco, and New York to eat. Now you can go and eat amazing food in Minneapolis, like amazing, amazing food. I just took uh, my first trip to Minneapolis and I just absolutely fell in love with it. So I think it's one of those cities that is so uniquely its own. There's a lot of pride uh, from the people who live there and it, that feels very, you know, I connect with that. I find Birmingham a very exciting town to eat my way through and who would have thought that? Birmingham is a, is a, is a gold nugget in a river of mud. We now have restaurants in places you would never think of having a restaurant. Birmingham is one, Minneapolis is another. I think Buffalo has some great food. Some of my favorite sort of undercover food cities these days are Denver. Amazing food scene, tons of young, innovative chefs there. All I hear about is Nashville and Louisville. It's burgeoning. It's a burgeoning food city. I'm gonna say Team Louisville for the win. Philadelphia has come so far in the last decade or so, it is a hotbed of good food right now. We've repopulated the zones. Everybody went to the big cities and now they've gone back to where they're, where, where they're from and are really building these brick and mortar places that are showing off the truth of what is really American food.